Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. My name is Danelli or Royal Queen Danelli. As you can see, I'm here by myself. Brian is in here. I'm finally doing my first solo video reviewing my new Apple credit card. Um, so please, please support, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time that we drop a new video. Again, this is my first solo video, so I'm a little nervous, so down below, give me some words of encouragement. Doing these videos is not as easy as people think. Let's get to what the video is about. So, as the thumbnail says, and as like I said before, this video is going to be me reviewing how I got my first Apple credit card. So, the Apple credit card, I got too, too excited and I can't do an unboxing, but this is the new, the little nice envelope that it comes in. Um, very Apple, white, all white, and then on the inside, very, very colorful. So, as you can see, the card comes in here, very easy to activate. All you have to do is put your phone next to the card and it'll instantly just know that it's Apple product, just like if you were doing your headphones or something like that. Very easy to use. The Apple credit card, very 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 sleek white all matte white very nice to feel they engrave your name right here Denali um, and of course the logo in the back they have MasterCard and Golden Sachs um, but as you can see there are no numbers so if this card was to be lost I can just go on my phone and report it lost and they will this be activated so you would be wondering where are your numbers then if you were want to buy something online for example you always just go on your phone your wallet you have the not physical card on your wallet I guess that's how you would call it um, and you can also search for your numbers on there as well I'm not gonna show you guys but that's how you do it so why get another credit card, Denali? Why will you do it? First off, because it's a credit card, you have to do all the steps that you would do to get a regular card. So they would check your credit score. You can apply online on your phone, or you can go in person to an Apple store and do it there as well. Um, I did it on my phone, got, a, got approved instantly and actually was able to use the card instantly as well i didn't have to wait to get the physical card i was able to use the apple credit card right from my phone as soon as i got approved um so that's another easy like hello yeah why not get it and use it right but another nice feature that the apple credit card has is that if for example like me i'm a huge apple um person like i have my macbook air i have the apple watch i've had the iphone i have an ipad like i can i just love apple products i love that they're so durable and so trusty like i've had my macbook air since 2013. this computer has been with me all throughout college all throughout grad school like it still works and a cool feature that the apple card has is that if you buy apple products um, you actually get 3% back return on like the money you spent on your Apple products. What that means is if you purchase something right now, they'll give you 3% back of that amount that you just purchased and you can use that cash back right away. Those 3% is going, going straight into that cash, that cash um, card that's on your Apple card. And you can use it on anything so you can I can go to Starbucks right now and use this card to buy my coffee It's a nice feature because usually if you're if you have a credit card you would have to wait until the end of the billing cycle to get points or rewards or even cash back with Apple with the Apple credit card you actually get it the next the, the very next day it is like getting a credit card so they will check your credit score so usually you have to have a 650 and up credit score to be able to even get approved um, but like I said, you can do it from the comfort of your home credit card. So there are interest rates, late fees, all that stuff. That's what we're used to with credit cards. With this Apple credit card, actually, if you're buying, using it to buy Apple products, 
you're actually not paying any interest on any Apple products for the first year. Let's say, for example, it's back to school season. You get a, get a new computer. You use your Apple credit card. You pay monthly payments. And for that first year, you don't have to pay interest on that. And late fees. Let me tell you about late fees. You know, sometimes you forget to, you have so many credit cards, you forget to pay your credit card statement one day, and then you get hit with another, um, let's say $20, right? With the Apple credit card, you actually don't get penalized for forgetting to pay your card. So with that said, let's say you forgot to pay it one month, right? It just slipped your mind, you forgot that you had that extra bill. Um, Apple's not going to charge you an, an, a late fee for that. Apple other, other other credit cards should be doing though definitely definitely if you are a person who loves Apple products uses gets the Apple products always getting the new phone always getting the new iPad Apple definitely something that you should have the Apple credit card so again if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and support your girl like I'm really trying out here I'm really really trying um to break out of my shell so i just started this um new adventure of mine like i've been a sexuality educator for many many years now and i wanted to uh start my own blogging so as you can see rated right that's what it is that's that's the new um endeavors that i have started doing and you'll probably see more about it in this youtube ch um channel so stay tuned for that but Thank you, thank you so much for sitting with me and listening to my little rant on the Apple card. Hope that you like this video. Thank you.